Facebook have just released Code Llama, and I'll be showing you the very quickest way to try it out. Link here to this collab notebook. I'll put it in the description below. And head over, click File, and save a copy to Drive. Then click on Runtime, and click on Change Runtime Type. Uh, you'll be able to select GPU even if you're in a free plan. Click Save. And then just click Runtime and Run All. That'll take about a minute or two to run, and you'll then see a box appear if you scroll right down to the bottom where you can chat with Code Llama. Give me some code to add two numbers. This warning here is normal, so you should expect that. And here we have the code. Uh, code Llama is really fast, um, uh, and that's because of one little trick and tweak that I've made. So I just want to show you. Normally, the default for Code Llama has been set to 16,000 tokens. That kind of slows it down a bit, although it allows you to put in a lot of context. So what I've done here is I've put in a factor of four division. Uh, you'll see it appear for the max prompt length and the max gen length. I've just divided by four. If you want longer context, but slower responses, you can just get rid of that or change the factor to something else. Now, for those of you who want to go even further, you can take a look at um, Code Llama Pro. Now, Code Llama Pro is very much like Code Llama, except it allows you to upload files and it allows you to save chats for later anywhere on your computer and upload them at a later point in time. Let's take a quick look at uploading a Stripe API reference. I've just saved a Stripe's checkout sessions reference as a PDF, and then I am uploading it now. It's going to be shortened so that it fits within the context. Remember, Collab. Uh, Code Llama is 16K token context, but I've shortened it to 4K so the responses are a bit quicker. And here you can see that this has now been uh, imported. And so um, we can now ask questions. Um, and we can follow on with a question here. And Code Llama should be able to answer. And here we go. These are the two answers. Now, um, you can, if you want to have a longer context, you can very easily just change that factor of four. If I search here uh, for the factor of four, you can see where I've basically shortened in um, three different places, just so that it makes the response more uh, quick. But if you have a fast computer or you just want to wait longer and get longer context, you can do it that way. So um, that's a summary of how you can very easily run Collab in a notebook. Uh, you can run it for free and you can get the pro version for $4.99 if you want to be able to save chats and re-upload chats. Let me just very briefly uh, show you how that works. I can just click uh, on the save chat button here and it will allow me to save it um, to a chat. Let's just call it Stripe Chat. And when I clear the chat now, I should be able to upload that file from where I had it saved. So if I can just file, uh, find for a second, documents, sample files, Stripe Chat, it should be able to reload that chat as follows. I'll be following up soon with another video that allows you to run Code Llama on your Mac M1 or M2. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for listening, folks.